Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Transport Fever Strategy and Tactics Episode 3. So in our last episode, we got ourselves our super profitable spinal line. It's going from our oil, taking oil to the refinery, refining into fuel, taking the fuel back here and then delivering the fuel to Pelican Town and Ficklewood um, with two separate lines. And that seems to be doing nicely for us. Um, look at it. All of our lines are profitable, but see how much more profitable line one is uh, than our others. See, this is the kind of profits you can expect out of unidirectional deliveries where the goods are only going, you, the trucks are only full one direction. You're going to break even and make a little bit of money on the side, but that's about it. Uh, whereas where it's full both ways, that's where the big bucks are. That's where you make your money. That's where everything goes happy times. And that's how you grow your business is uh, by maximizing that kind of line. Um, so to uh, help facilitate that, uh, we also need to grow our towns. Um, and again, by naming them, we are we have chosen to focus on, at the very least, these two. These aren't going to be the only two towns we ever touch in the whole game. Absolutely not. We will be expanding our 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 um, our sphere of influence here uh, to uh, to other towns here. But that being said, we have a lot uh, we have a lot to do in the area, and I like to focus on. You know, building up, uh, you know, uh, a couple of specific towns rather than trying to sprawl out and hit every other town. Um, now then, one other, uh, uh, another thing that we can uh, consider here is, well, actually, hang on. Let's let's not get distracted. In the last episode, I promised you that we'd be diving into some passengers, specifically passengers from uh, between Pelican Town and Ficklewood. And that is what we are going to be doing. Now, our passenger lines are at best going to break even at worst, lose us a little tiny bit of money. But that is kind of worth the cost here because this is a long time strategy. Our whole the whole point here is to get our towns growing so that the demand for the goods that they might have um, will continue. So what we're going to do here is we're going to again set up our land use here. Now passengers. Passengers that come primarily from residences, but the passengers do want to go to the commercials and the industrial zones. Uh, luckily, we have a tool at our disposal that can help us uh, spread our coverage a lot faster, further, and cheaper than we uh, can with our, our uh, physical goods. Uh, so let us go here, and we're going to go to passenger sign. Now, what you always want to do, and this is this is this is kind of key to our, our little strategy here, is we want to get a uh, a bus or a tram station uh, built here, and we want to put it on the outskirts of town. We don't want to try and jam it into the middle or knock down buildings in order to uh, to uh, to have it built, but we do want it near the town so it gets at least a little bit of the radius in here. So in the, and it doesn't really matter super, you know, it's not super important what areas are affected um, as long as you're not knocking stuff over. So we're going to put it right there. And actually, let's pause here so we're not uh, losing any money, any money while we're setting all this up. Now, uh, what we want to do is we want to cover the rest of the towns with bus stops. Now, this little area got covered by the tram, so we don't need to put a bus stop here because people just walk to the to the central station here. What we do want to do is put these in, in places where uh, it will cover the rest of the town. Um, now, the town is going to grow, so we're going to want we're going to want one, say, down here. Um even though we could get more coverage by putting it right in the center, we want one where it's going to get more growth, um, you know, because more stuff is going to grow along these lines here. So that station will cover that. This station will cover that. And then one more station to cover the growing industries and, and uh, uh, commercial zones like that. Now, this can get a little bit... I don't want to say wordy, but it's a little bit 
uh, fussy in terms of setting up lots and lots of little, little lines that are serviced by only a couple of things. So when it comes to passengers, you can do tram lines, but you can do stagecoaches. For the beginning, because it requires less capital, I'm going to stick with stagecoaches. I might upgrade our systems uh, to do tram lines. Uh, that's basically where you have the sort of like San Francisco where you have the rails in the street that might be work a little bit better for for those but in the early game we're sticking to this uh, we're sticking to stage coaches rather um, so we're gonna get our first uh, st uh, stage coach built here oops could you moved over new line always start your lines at the uh, at the main depot here um, now, what I like to do is I like to do a clockwise and then a counterclockwise. So one is going to go here and then here and then here and then return to the station. And then another one, line five, is going to start here go down here come on these things can be a little fussy go here and then lastly here um, and then they, they'll return that to that town uh, so the whole point of this is basically twofold um, and well basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on the other town to Ficklewood um, I'll uh, probably fast. Well, no, I'm not going to fast forward because again, careful placement, different town shapes require different placement strategies here. So let's, let's do likewise. And since these two towns are going to be talking to each other, we want to get the tram, uh, the little tram things here on the sides that, uh, will make the most sense. Yeah, that's fine. Boom. Again, pay attention. We got most of this area here. Um, and then let us, oops, come on, thank you. We're going to get an area for this industrial zone, say over here, we're going to get one over here. Again, accounting for future growth. Um, and then down here, this one will work fine for both of those little branches boom you don't want to get too many inner city stops at least until the city grows to warrant them um all right and then once again yes i know our our, our uh, guys are gonna have to have a little bit of a ways to travel from this thing but i don't want to buy too many uh, more of these things that we don't have to use and it's just a one-time trip before they start doing these inner city services and again, we're going to do a new line. These these passenger lines warrant lots of little, lots of little new lines here. One here, one here, one here. Good. New stage coach. Line seven is going to go here to here here to here to here beautiful good 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 and now the piece de resistance line number eight can any of you viewers at home take a wild guess what line number eight is going to be i'll show you line number eight is going to be lower ficklewood to Pelican Town Exchange. This is how the two towns get passengers between each other. Is basically the anyone who wants to go to Ficklewood in here will be gathered up by the local service and dumped off here. And then, then they'll board a separate line that takes them up here. And then the local service will take them to whatever destination they want to go to. So this way we're basically getting the entire city of both cities uh, hooked up. Um, in terms of people being able to get to and from any one building in either city. And also some people want, you know, you might have a resident that wants to go to work just within their own city. The local lines take care of that too. So it works out like that.
Now, most of our, our volume is going to be concerned with our, our line number eight here, because there's going to be a lot of passenger buildup between these two. So we need to monitor that and buy additional um, things as needed. The best way to do that is with this informational button stations. Here we can monitor, ooh, our fuel's getting a little thick here. Uh, let's get one and one um, back here, just because I don't want any warnings from our uh, our lovely producers. Also, it's good to keep uh, keep keep a uh, track of things. In fact, you know what? It's um, the, here's another little tip here for you for keeping things organized. Line one, you can rename lines. So this is. Um, Crude fuel heartline line two is fuel delivery I can spell fickle wood fickle woo fuel delivery fickle woo all right Let's shorten that to just fuel to fuel to fickle wood. This will help me keep stay organized because as the game goes on, uh, you're going to need to keep yourself organized and remember which lines go to what. Um, Okay, got everything renamed so we can stay nice and organized. Excellent. So, once again, we're going to want to be monitoring our uh, our supplies here, and also our. Uh, sorry, so we're starting to get um, we're starting to get um, um, passengers built up, which is a good thing. As soon as there's four appears there, we'll send uh, one bus their way. I mean, we already sent our Pioneer bus. Our Pioneer bus kind of is what's going to be needed for each of the lines here uh, to sort of get the, oh wow, there. Oh, one, one, one went down, huh? Oh, maybe one of the buses showed up. Uh, and then Lower Ficklewood is our other stop here, so the two are going to be uh, talking to each other. All right, yeah, we're starting to get our stuff going to the inner cities here. Now, notice here that Ficklewood South is starting to be a little bit snippy on our on the uh, on the fuel here. It's getting a little bit lower, um, and some of our guys might not be, yeah, full completely full of fuel. That's not for lack of uh, deliveries here. It's just a matter of them seeing whether or not it's uh, there's enough demand here. Um, so part of us might need to uh, might need to further saturate our um, we might might need to further saturate our uh, our line here with some more with some more heart line deliveries. Hopefully this does not confound the traffic too badly. Um, and yeah, we're starting, so we're already at the point where the Pelican Town Exchange needs, uh, uh, needs more, more help, as it were. So, um, Ficklewood to Pelican. Kind of messes with me that they changed the order after I renamed them. <laughs> Yeah, and now as long as the inner city lines get, uh, stay less than four people, then we're generally good. Um, these guys we do kind of expect to. Uh, um, Ficklewood Pelican. We'll send a couple because it takes them a while to get there. Ficklewood Pelican. 
And again, these passenger lines are not going to be making us the big bucks. Um, they might be lo losing us the small bucks, actually. But again, we want our towns to be growing early. Hopefully these aren't growing too large. Um, that also ensure that our uh, refinery doesn't slow down their, their offerings of fuel to us because we've oversaturated the demand for them. By, by ensuring the gr towns start to grow, thus too will the demand for them. All right, Lower Ficklewood is starting to get, their, uh, get, get more people waiting for us, which is good. Um, so it's the kind of problem you want to have. All right. So, f yeah. All right. So Pelican Town's exchange just got hit with, uh, all of our, um, so at least some of our trams here. So they're going to be on their way back. And again, we don't want to oversaturate the line because then we're losing money on maintenance. And keep in mind that some of these people are people actually waiting for the intracity lines. They are not necessarily waiting, all 13 are not necessarily waiting to go to Pelican Town here. What are you doing? Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're leaving empty. I sent one too many. Yeah, we got one too many, one too many on the line here. Hopefully, hopefully the demand will increase to absorb that, but I don't think we need to build more of those, uh, those, um, as, as we speak right now. All right, no bottlenecking over here. And you guys are, you're churning through the fuel as fast as I'm delivering it. Keep high production to upgrade in five months. That sounds good to me. Definitely want you up to level three. And yeah, this thing's not, it, it would prefer, uh, we need more fuel to Ficklewood uh, capacity. Fuel to Ficklewood. And if you ever see an imbalance this bad, it might also behoove you to pull one off. Um, you know, so the fuel to Pelican Town, maybe not so much. Let's find one that's not, find one that's not carrying anything before switching it. Like that. And then we can switch you to uh, fu uh, fuel to fickle wood. That way you don't lose the, uh, you don't lose the whole, uh, um, you don't lose the cargo and thus don't lose the profit from that trip. All right, now we're looking at some better numbers building up here, and that's what we like to see. Yeah, and I'm only going to shift the one, because there is still demand for Pelican Town. I don't want to pull everything off the line there. Especially since we're getting a nice big run of, uh, of fuel deliveries here. So, yeah, it, it, eventually things stabilize, and there's a bit of an ebb and flow to it. But we're, what we need to really need to focus on now is more money. Um, or more, more specifically, I should say, um, we need to focus on another heart line thing here. Because really, it's this line right here. Line number one, a.k.a. Mr. Positive 133K balance. That's really what we're, what we're, um, what's, what's keeping this company afloat. Um, Pelican Town Exchange finally recovered itself. So we are starting to get the uh, passenger passenger deliveries and picking ups and what have you. Um, and that is going to be causing the town to start growing. Oop, I didn't want to click on that. I wanted to click on that. Yeah, 10%. Um, it kind of takes trains to get that into really high percents. But really every little bit counts. Because, I mean, we're doing really good here. See see that plus right there? Displace if land use grows or shrinks. So this, we're getting more zones that will be industrial popping up because we've been so diligent at providing fuel. That's what we want. Um, 
we're not going to get so much with that with population, but even as jobs grow, population will occasionally grow to match that. Um, if there is insufficient population, even if we're not going crazy with uh, transportation. Um, I mean, maybe a few more. Uh, we still need we still need more more vehicles to do fuel from Ficklewood. That's still a bit too much of a build up. Oops. Fuel to Ficklewood. There we go. Okay. So, um, I think, I think we are in a pretty good place. We got our transportation network up in here. Oh, George Street. George Street's in Pelican Town. So that means, that means uh, Pelican Town could use another intercity uh, transportation. Uh, Pelican inner city one. We'll do, we'll do a, a two for here. Um, Pelican inner city two. That way both, both halves get serviced and, um, lower fickle wood. We got three in, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's, let's expand them out, uh, in both, in both cities. Uh, fickle wooded inner city. Ficklewood Inner City, and then, oh, last but not least, let's throw in one more Ficklewood to Pelican Town. Since those inner city trams are going to be uh, a little bit more aggressive about bringing people to and from, we might as well, uh, yeah, see, as more and more people get the memo that these lines exist and are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing, um, they'll start using the service more. Uh, that, and then, and then in the 70, 70, why, why are we building up so much fuel here? We need more, we need more deliveries or our uh, refinery is going to get cranky. We do not want a cranky refinery. Um, fuel to Pelican Town, fuel to Ficklewood, fuel to Pelican Town, fuel to Ficklewood. Go, go, go. No cranky refineries, no cranky refineries. No, sir. We will not be having the crankies of the refineries. Um, now, our stagecoach is one thing I wanted to take a look at here. And that is, yes, passengers, details. You guys also go 15 kilometers, so faster roads are not going to benefit you either. Uh, that's what I thought, but as they, as you start love, uh, well, leveling up, as you start progressing through the eras and, and unlocking new technology, by the way, thank God you don't need to actually research tech like in like say planet coaster, because that would be, uh, that'd be kind of crazy. I mean, it might be kind of good cause you're like, Oh, I need more road vehicles, research road vehicles for the love of God. We need more, we need more horses. We need more horses. We need better horses. We need steam powered horses. Somebody invent the combustion engine, please, please. Uh, all right. So in our next episode, we are going to expand our trade empire a little bit further. Uh, introduce a new good into the mix. Maybe get another Heartline uh, going so that we may be making the big bucks uh, or even bigger bucks, I should say. Uh, so if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.